Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do um, a quick video on cylinder head refacing and why we do it, how we do it. Uh, although it's our sort of bread and butter, just refacing a head, you know, a lot of people want to sort of know how we do it and what machine we do it on and the reasons why we do it. Now, when a cylinder head comes off for refacing, it means that the head gasket's either started to blow or has blown. Now you've got sort of two different types of head gasket. You'll have a fiber gasket, which a lot of the older petrols use. Um, most stuff now use a multi-layer steel gasket. And if you have a look on the cylinder head around where the gasket line is, this is where the gasket seals around the head. You can see like a clear a lot a clear line. Well, if you sort of have a look in areas like here, for instance, that's sort of telltale where it's gone black. That's sort of where the gasket has started to blow or is blowing. Usually, on these little petrols, you've got an end water jacket here, and that's where it sort of blows into there. So, what we do if you're changing the head gaskets especially if you've got a multi-layer steel gasket they're not very forgiving so really ideally you should have both faces the block and the cylinder head refaced now it's as you may know it's a lot more of a job to face the cylinder block because you've got to completely strip the engine to do so otherwise you'll never get it clean um, so what most people do if you do an head gasket job just at the very least just reface the head before you put a new gasket on so most of these heads we have are from garages obviously they just send them in we give it a skim with this machine here it's a single tip cutter this cutter just goes round in a clockwise direction and just skims over very lightly here until it cleans and you get sort of no areas that are untouched so what we'll do now is we're going to start the machine up we're going to bring the cutter over to touch the cylinder head and then we're going to bring the cutter back off the head and usually we sort of start off with a two or three foul cut and hopefully it cleans at that if you um, if you sort of have to go more than about 10 foul you then either have to start trying to find a thicker head gasket. If they don't do those, which they don't usually for petrols, then we're gonna to have to start cutting the valves, the valves and seats back to, um, so you don't get valve to piston clear um, contact. So, we're gonna start the machine up now um, and put a little touch cut on there. We just wind this machine down here using this handle here. This is bringing the bed up to touch the cut. So it's not actually the cut or the head moving, it's the bed that's going side to side and up and down.
Right, as you can see, we've refaced this head. Uh, we give it a little two or three towel cut. And it didn't quite clean at the back here. So give it another couple of towel, and as you can see, it's clean now. So what we look for is all around the gasket line there. And make sure it's all cleaned and there's not any spots that are sort of dipped down and not cleaned. And that's, uh, that's ready to go.